guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. So one of my favorite features of the Note 3 is the multi-window support. Unfortunately, that's a feature that's not baked into Android. However, if you do have a reading Android device, then you can achieve a floating window display. It's pretty cool, so let's check it out. Alright, so like I mentioned, you will need to have a reading Android device in order to do this. Now I am demonstrating this using my Nexus 7, however, this will work on any reading Android phone or tablet. So let's get started. So in order to do this, we're going to be using an Xbox module called X Halo Floating Window, along with a modded Halo APK. Let's first download and install Xbox Framework. So I'll write both the links on my blog, but you want to download the Xbox Installer APK. Install that. After you install it, open it up. Go to where it says Framework. Then go to Install Update. Grant it Super User Permission. It's going to install and update framework, and you can choose a soft reboot or reboot. I'm just going to do soft reboot and OK. So this is going to install the framework, and this is so we can run the module. All right, now that you installed the framework files and your device has rebooted, now what we need to do is go back and install the Halo APK. So go back to where you downloaded the APK at. Go to my downloads folder right over here, and go to the modified Halo. Select that and go to install. All right, and great. Now that you have both those installed, now let's go to the Expos installer. So I'm gonna go over here to Expos installer. All right, then go to download. Now what we're gonna do is type in X Halo, X H A L. Now already have a download and installed, but you should see a module called X Halo floating window. And then go to download. And it's gonna download the module for you. Select install to install it. And it has been installed. After it has been installed, go back and go back again to your modules and select it to activate it. Once you select it, you're going to have to reboot your device. So just select it and activate it and reboot your device. Now, after you have that activated, now we can start actually using Halo. Here we're going to open up the Halo app. Now, I already have programs that I have pinned, meaning these are the programs I want to actually run into multi-window mode. So to pen programs, what you do is go to pen and choose any application you want. So like I said, um, we'll go to tap talk and I'm gonna go to default. All right, so as you hear my apps that I do have pen, so I'm gonna hit start. And what's gonna happen is when I go up here and select an app, so let's start with uh, Chrome, that's always easy. As you see, Chrome comes up in, uh, in its own little window, which I can customize the size of it and move it all around and drag and move. And then on top of that, I can go and let's say I launch Twitter. I can drag Twitter down here and let's see, can we move this over? Let's resize this a little bit. All right, make this really small. Let's make it a little bit larger. Let's see. All right, here we go. I'll make that a little bit larger. Right now I have Chrome running on the top window right now. So I can browse Chrome, I go to like google.com. And at the bottom here, I have Twitter running at the bottom. So I have access to both my Twitter feed and browsing on Chrome. Let's get a little more technical. Let's actually launch YouTube. Now once I launch YouTube, I can drag YouTube. Let's drag it over here. We can go to my uploads. And as you see, I can actually play a video while still browsing Chrome at the same time. Gets a little messy, but it does work. Ooh, let's move this. Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. And I can go back up here and continue browsing the web and have my Twitter feed all over there while having a YouTube app play. So this is really intense multitasking going on right now. And like I said, it does get a little busy between switching back and forth between all these different apps. Now, the lovely thing is that you can customize how this works. So remember that X Halo floating window we installed earlier? You can open up in your app drawer, and within this app, you have different customization options. So movable and resizable, I go to that. Make sure that's enabled, just so you can actually remove and uh, move and resize the window. Um, but like I said, you can choose moving settings. You can even choose, actually one thing I was playing around with was having a title bar, just so you can see where you can drag the actual window at. You can customize that as well as having like a triangle settings for extra option and border settings. Another thing I did was resizing. I turned on a snap in feature, which kind of helps. 
if you're familiar with Windows Arrow, how you drag it to this corner and it kind of snaps into place, uh, it kind of helps on here. So that's one there feature that I did enable. And you have all these different settings in which you can play around with. Uh, but like I said, this app really makes it easy to customize how you view different windows. And if you don't want a video playing in the background when you open it, so for example, I had a YouTube video playing in the background, but I could customize how that works. I could actually turn on app pausing, meaning that when I play a YouTube video in the background and I switch to Chrome, the YouTube video will stop playing or will pause where it's at. So that might be useful depending on your needs or whatnot. So this also works with uh, games too. I tried with Flappy Bird earlier, and as you can see, I have a YouTube, oh wow, I have a YouTube video playing down below on my uh, YouTube videos. And in addition, I'm also playing Flappy Bird, ugh. Now I do feel like the responsiveness is not as quick, just because I'm using up some more CPU resources, and yeah, like I feel like it's not even registering all my touch responses. But the general idea does, oh wow, wow, yeah, it does kind of work. Not the most efficient thing to do, but as you can see, it is possible and is playable. All right, guys. So this has been how to use Floating Window and Monster Window on your Android device. Like I said, I highly encourage you to download, try it out. It definitely really takes multitasking to a new level on your device, and it's just a cool thing to do. So as always, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.